Hi, I'm Carmen Palumbo. We're here to investigate a new product that claims to make you irresistible. So whether you're dating or just trying to spice up your love life, stay tuned. What we're about to share with you is quite shocking. Scientists claim to have created an incredibly powerful aphrodisiac. What makes it really interesting is you don't drink it, you don't eat it, you just spray it on. Their secret is a combination of pheromones, which have been recently appearing in lots of brand name perfumes and colognes. But now, arriving on the market is a super concentrated pheromone formula, guaranteeing to make you irresistible. Can this be true? Scientists have now mastered the reproduction of these synthetic chemicals and mixed them into one powerful formula. And now for the first time, it's available to the public. It's called Ferrazone. It's what exactly are pheromones like and do they really work? In a moment, we'll be putting pheromones to the test to see if they live up to their claims. But before we do so, let's go visit our news correspondent, Dr. Vimal Murthy, and discover what pheromones are and exactly how they work. Well, the word pheromone is Greek and comes from the word pheron, meaning to transfer, and hormone, meaning to excite. So a simple translation would be to transfer excitement. You know, even though pheromones don't have a distinctive aroma, they can play a very significant role in animal behavior. For example, we're all familiar, when a dog is in heat, it attracts all the male dogs in the neighborhood. Uh, pheromones are now also used as an attractant for hunting and trapping, and more recently, synthetic human pheromones are appearing in colognes and perfumes to attract the opposite sex. If there's no scent at all, how do you get a reaction? Well, actually, you'd be surprised. Uh, the real attraction is triggered from a chemical response from pheromones, not from the specific scent. Uh, pheromones are detected by vomeronasal organs, commonly known as VNOs, which are located in the nasal passage. When the VNO detects a signal from pheromones, this information is transmitted to the hypothalamus. It's part of the brain that controls emotions and sexual activity. Recent studies have proven that people exposed to human pheromones feel an instinctive, powerful attraction, not knowing why. Another recent study out of Australia claims 90% of men using pheromones increase their attractiveness to women. All right, guys, we can talk about it all day, but it's test time. And what we found was a cologne with the highest concentration of pheromones called Ferrazone. Now, we have this actor right here. This is Martin, and he considers him quite the ladies' man. Now, I'm sure you don't need any help from us, Martin, but what we're going to do is spray you with this pheromone-concentrated cologne. Now, this is supposed to make you absolutely irresistible, but we are going to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you use the same pickup line on 10 different women now. These are 10 women of your choice. We're going to spray this on your neck. Okay. All I, right. Come on, guys. You don't really believe that. <laughs> I, I, well, you know what? That's the thing. We want to find out. I, you are very confident with your skill and your game. Yeah, I don't need that kind of thing. Well, I'm confident about pheromones. So you're going to go out there and go find 10 good-looking ladies that you'd like to get to sniff your neck and then let us know what they say. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> All right. Okay, what Martin doesn't know is we're playing a little trick on him, just to be fair. We called the makers of Ferrazone and asked them to make us an identical cologne without the pheromones in it. So this should be interesting. Okay. My name is Martin, what's your name? Sophia. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, I have a new cologne, and I just need you to tell me how you like it. Okay, and that's nice. Okay, good, then my next question is, uh, you probably haven't had lunch yet, right? Would you mind having lunch with me real no, fast? No, I'm actually meeting a friend. Okay. Tell me how you like it. Mmm, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, now, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you want to go have lunch at the pier there? Um, I have had lunch. I'm actually in a rush. I'm off to a meeting. <laughs> no. Wow, it doesn't look like our ladies' man is doing very well. That's not good. All right, well, while he's trying his luck with the ladies, we're going to check out and see what the men think about the female's fragrance. Tell me, if a girl was wearing that, um, would you be attracted to her just from that scent? Absolutely. Yeah, this scent would definitely turn me on. I guess if I, if I smelled that on a girl, I would obviously um, probably want to talk to her. Very sexy, yeah. <laughs> if I smelled this on a woman, it would totally get my attention. I would definitely be attracted to that scent. All right, now let's check in with Martin and see how he's doing with the ladies. My name is Martin, what's your name? Evie. Evie, you have an accent, where are you from? Liverpool. Liverpool. They got good uh, soccer there, good yeah. football. I like it. Now, uh, can I have a short question only. Um, I have a cologne, a new one, and I would like you to just tell me how you like it. Here, smell it. It's nice stuff. You like it? Good, I like it. Okay, now my next question is, you probably drink tea, right? More than coffee. Yeah. Good, they have awesome tea over there. Really fantastic. Would you want to come with me have a little no, tea? It's, okay. it's almost tea time. Ladies, man, what happened? Two out of ten, seriously? What's the story? Well, the story is that um, I would have done much better if I didn't have to stay with the same pickup line. 
that's the problem. You think it was the pickup line? Yeah, absolutely. Like you say the same thing every time you get the get a percentage like that. Well, it's trying to be fair for everyone, but you know what? We're going to give it another try here. I've got another clone for you that I'm going to put on you. And so give me your yeah. wrist. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's. And we're going to spray this one on you. We're going to see how this one works. Well, you know what? It smells just the same, but let's try it. <laughs> it's not. Trust me on that, but good luck. Okay. <laughs> we're rooting for you, Martin. All right, what Martin doesn't know is that we've just given him Ferrazone that contains a powerful concentration of pheromones, in fact, 18 milligrams of pheromones, so this should definitely be interesting. Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Cool, well, that's a success. Okay, I like that. Now, my next question is, where is a good place to eat here? I already had lunch. You did? a minute uh, ago. So. Okay. But I was gonna have a quick coffee. Maybe you can come? Yeah, that would be cool. Mmm. I like it. You like it? What is it? It's uh, called Ferrazone. They have it for men and for women. This one is for men, as you can notice, you, mm -hmm. you know. So if you like it, that's fantastic. Very good. Now I have another short question. Do you like hot dogs? Yes. Good. Do you mind if I take you out to the hot dogs over there? All right. Just so we can talk. Wow, it might actually be working. All right, now, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of leading colognes that are adding pheromones to their products. But do they all work? Well, uh, just because a cologne or perfume has pheromones doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be effective. Uh, if you're looking for results, it's important to find a product with the highest concentration. Synthetic human pheromones are extremely expensive to manufacture, so if the product is cheap, you can normally assume that it may not necessarily be effective. Martin has been out now for 30 minutes, and you're not going to believe this. Are you sitting down? Eight out of nine women. Right now he's with number 10. So we'll see how that goes. But eight out of nine women so far have loved him based on that cologne. So we'll see how he does with number 10. Hi, Martin. Let's see who your new friend is. What's your name? Hi, I'm Yasmin. <laughs> Hi, Yasmin. I'm Carmen. And uh, let me ask you something, because I know you just met Martin today. Yeah. <laughs> Could you tell me what attracted you to Martin? Um, I'm not sure, because normally I don't, um, I, I'm not, uh, attracted to guys that are so aggressive or I, I mean I wouldn't talk to guys like that on the street really but um, I don't know there was just something about him I don't, I don't know what it was like the perfume or just I don't know something was there that like an animal attraction or something I guess something like that yeah <laughs> okay but he's typically isn't your type no, 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 not really. I go more for the shy kind of guys. Okay, more. but you guys are going to go out? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. now, Yasmin, let me ask you something now. Hopefully this won't change anything, but what if you found out that the clone that he's wearing actually has a high concentration of pheromones in it? Is that what that was? <laughs> yeah, it's very okay, sexy of a smell, right? Okay, I knew there was something there. <laughs> it felt a little more, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what it but was. But you're still right? going out with him, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I will. <laughs> okay, Martin, you need to keep that cologne, though. Okay, I will, absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great time. Nice to meet you. Thank okay. you for talking Thanks. to us. So there you have it. Seems pretty conclusive that pheromones really work. But remember what the doctor said. If you're looking for results, it's crucial that you find a product with the highest concentration of pheromones possible. So what do you think? Do you want to put on some pheromones and go on a date? This has been a special report by Carmen Palumbo.